Hello YouTube. Today I have my mat rectified and smoothed. So here we have my tiny little 700 watt microwave oven transformer. I have the primary in series with the rewound microwave transformer on the high current end of course. The uh, primary is not even shorted so that way there's the most ballasting there can be with this setup at least. So the old, the primary on here won't overheat as bad, otherwise it'll just overheat in like one arc, and then after three arcs it'll start smoking, and I don't want that. Here's my little rectifier I just made today. Gotta put my hand here so my camera focuses. So it can handle 4,000 volts at two amps, because it's one on four zero zero sevens in a par parallel series configuration. Um, here's smoother capacitors it's uh... forty microfarads each four hundred and forty volts AC or one thousand volts DC since this is rectified I'm using it as DC but since it's only one thousand volts I have them in series for twenty microfarads so I had to guess on the polarity since there's nothing to tell you what the poles are but I always go by the idea of plus minus plus minus so that's how I went by, and it turned out to be correct, otherwise there would have been a big boom. Um, so what you do after smoothing, these go in parallel with the output of the rectifier, and you arc from one pole to the other, so it's all in parallel. And um, if you don't have anything to ballast in between the parallel arcing, it'll just short out the capacitors and make a boom and uh, her spark and nothing will happen other than a possibly fried rectifier since it's only two amps or a shorted out knot or a blown up capacitor we don't want that so I have that going through this little transformer that's really jacked up as this is going in series and it's going through series through a mot secondary and once again the primary is not shorted so we arc from here to the screwdriver I know the screwdriver is not a good chicken stick idea, but give me a break. It's only for a test. So now that I'm done rambling on and actually explaining stuff, um, let's plug it in. Makes a cool little buzz when you plug it in and it charges. So the arcs are... I was using this as a ballast for the output, but uh, it's only an ignition coil, so it heats it up pretty fast because those are made for high voltage low current not low voltage high current so here we go I don't like this idea but okay notice how the arcs are completely silent other than the buzzing of my mot and ballast sometimes it welds itself on I don't want that The arcs are not that big due to ballasting, of course. I don't want to do this too long because this is kind of hard on the whole setup because it's really crude. My mat's not even buzzing anymore. Rather odd. It's very ZVS like considering the arcs are quiet. That's probably it for now. Let's unplug this. So the mot is pretty hot, but nothing that'll burn it up. Warm, warm. Oh, I imagine the secondary is very hot. Well, actually, it's only warm, surprisingly. And with the rectifier, I don't want to touch that because the capacitor is still have a char charge. So let's fix that. We're all set. So that's a rectified microwave oven transformer for those of you who wanted to know what it's like to have a rectified knot. The arcs are nice and quiet if you smooth it, but the smoothing is kind of a pain in the ass, otherwise you can have shorted capacitors and all kinds of cool stuff. 
Um, this thing cannot handle the current, so it's like the hot glue I put on here is melting a bit and it stinks badly. But whatever, it gets the job done. So that's it. See ya.